morning, everybody. Today, uh, I am about to give everybody here, there, these are all my little finches. I have some society finches, some Goldian finches, and my canaries. They all get along really well, and I am going to put some um, broccoli in for them to enjoy. So, you'll probably see a little fluttering and stuff at first, but they are good, good eaters. I'm trying to make sure everybody's doing well because it's um, they're all laying eggs and things right now so I want to kind of do like so look at that look at that what are you guys gonna get you guys some yummy broccoli yeah let's get a bigger piece and then you guys can all Dig in, huh? There we go. Let's see how you do. Let's see how you do, huh? Somebody messed up their water over here. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. for them to forage a little bit. Um, they really enjoy this ladder. Um, this particular group does. Some of my bigger birds, they they didn't really enjoy it as much. So I was like, I'm going to try it for my little guys. And they have really enjoyed it. And I don't know, I, hopefully this video you'll be able to really see their vivid colors because um, it's just that time they, they've already had their full molds. Um, let me see everybody is doing well. Hi, pretty girl. love for me to just come in and talk to them so I don't know why but all of them always have right handsome right handsome I think they know mom always comes and takes care of them yeah I'm gonna let you enjoy for a few minutes while I give everybody else um, in the room their broccoli because uh, everybody's getting jealous so
up. And you want to always try to get them as much fresh fruits and vegetables as possible along with their seed. Um, they need their vitamins, um, always fresh water. Um, there's also some different medications that they need on a regular basis, just like with any other animal. Um, whether you have cats, dogs, birds, you know, ferrets, what have you, they all have um, certain needs. And just like um, it's not healthy for dogs to only have dog food or cats to only have cat food, that you need to supplement their diet with other things. A common misconception um, as pet owners is that those things are enough, um, just like seeds are not enough for your birds. So, um, again, I really hope that the color of them really shows through because this is from their healthy diet that allows them to have such vivid colors and they're very healthy. And I think overall they're all pretty happy little birds too. Um, this um, group here is in a three-tiered condo. So right now, of course, they're up top here because they're eating their broccoli. But um, they have flight space um, so that they can really have, each, each group can have their own space. Um, it's interesting because I have um, a nest on the top level that is for my Goldians. Um, the second level, there is a nest for the societies. And now um, on the lower level, um, our canaries built a nest. So um, it is interesting that on each level they have their own nest and they get along and they, they don't bother each other. So um, this little trio of breeds has worked out really well for us. So pretty. They don't like anything else, but I still give it to them in hopes that they eat a little bit more than just seed. But um, we rescued them, and they um, don't even fly or anything, so uh, we just kind of have to take care of them. They're much healthier now. It's been a few months, and they're in much, much better shape. So hopefully they um, start to decide that they like some fruits and veggies with the That'll help improve their diet a bit. So I'm going to take you over so that you can see some of the others here.
Okay, say bye bye everybody. I'm gonna say bye for now. We'll see you next time. Please do make sure that you subscribe if you wanna see more of our our little birdies. Um, they, we, we will try to do at least one post every day of just some of their different activities um, and how we keep them so healthy and happy. So um, these guys here are English budgies. Um, and they're a little bit hardier and stockier than your parakeet. So, um, actually, I can show you a comparison over here. Let me just turn. Sorry, it's very quick. Always have a vacuum in the room. So, I'm going to show you a comparison if they'll stay over there. This, so the light blue is a budgie. And the two darker blues are parakeets. So I don't know if you can really tell their size difference. So they look similar to just the eye, but when you see them actually next to each other, it's a big difference. Let me see if we can, there we go. We're getting all puffed out. Are you being the big man? Hmm? Are you being bossy over there? Are you being bossy? So these um, are our parakeets and budgies. And the interesting thing about the parakeets is they originally were in their own cage because I had kept them separate. Um, but I had let them out to play one day. And their little smarties went over and they lifted the um, door and got into the cage with the budgies. And everybody seemed to get along. And it, so it's been about two months now. So they ha are happier too. So everybody's hanging out together, right? I see you, big man. I see you, big man. You've become a bossy bridges. Yes, you've become a bossy bridges. Okay, say bye bye, everybody. Bye bye.